Hello, math buddies! Today, we're going to learn how to solve word problems involving sequences. I am Jordans, and welcome to Math TV. Our target, to solve real-life problems involving sequences. There are three things we must consider in solving word problems involving sequences. Number one, determine the type of sequence involved in the problem. Form a sequence if possible. And for number two, list down the given data. Then, choose the formula to be used. The last one, substitute the needed values. Then, perform the indicated operations. Example number one. After heart surgery, your doctor tells you to exercise slowly in the morning. He suggests walking for 12 minutes each for the first week. Each week thereafter, he suggests you increase the time by 6 minutes. How many weeks will it be before you are up to walking 60 minutes per day? What type of sequence is involved in the problem? Very good! It's arithmetic sequence. Now, let us try to form the sequence. 12, 18, 24, and so on until we reach 60. Why? Because, based on the problem, the doctor wants to increase the time by 6 minutes every week. So, we add 6 to 12, it is equal to 18, plus 6, that is 24, and so on until we reach 60. After we form the sequence, let us now write all the given. We're looking for n. a sub 1 is equal to 12, a sub n is equal to 60, and d is equal to 6. Applying the formula we have, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 multiplied by d. Solution, directly plug in the given values. Now we have 60 is equal to 12 plus quantity n minus 1 multiplied by 6. By distributive property of multiplication, we multiply 6 to quantity n minus 1 and that is equal to 6n minus 6. 60 is equal to 12 plus 6n minus 6. Combining like terms, we have 12 minus 6, it is equal to 6. 60 now is equal to 6 plus 6n. Then, transpose 6 to the other side of the equation. From positive, it becomes negative. 60 minus 6, that is equal to 54. 54 now is equal to 6n. Divide both sides by 6 to isolate n. We have 54 divided by 6, that is equal to 9. And 6n divided by 6, it is equal to n. So, n is equal to 9. Therefore, it will take 9 weeks for you to be able to walk in 60 minutes per day. Example number 2. A file of cement bags has 29 bags in the first layer, 28 in the second layer, and 27 in a third layer, and so on. What is the total number of cement bags if it has 12 layers? What type of sequence is involved in the problem? Correct! It is an arithmetic series. Why? Because we're going to look for the total number of cement bags if it has 12 layers. Given, we're looking for S sub 12. A sub 1 is 29 n is 12 and d is equal to negative 1. But how to get the value of the common difference? Subtract the value of the second term to the value of the first term. That's a sub 2 minus a sub 1. So, 28 minus 29, it is equal to negative 1. Applying the formula, we have s sub n is equal to n over 2 multiplied by 2 times a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 multiplied by d. Where 29 goes to a sub 1, 12 goes to n, and negative 1 goes to d. s sub 12 is equal to 12 over 2 multiplied by 2 times 29 plus quantity 12 minus 1 multiplied by negative 1. But what is 12 divided by 2? That is equal to 6. 2 times 29, that is 58, and 12 minus 1 is 11. S sub 12 is equal to 6 multiplied by 58 plus 11 times negative 1. And 11 times negative 1 is equal to negative 11. S sub 12 is equal to 6 multiplied by 58 plus negative 11. But what is 58 plus negative 11? It is equal to 47. 
S sub 12 is equal to 6 times 47, it is now equal to 282. Therefore, the total number of cement bags is 282. Example number 3. Romeo now earns 260,000 pesos per annum. His manager tells him that he will receive a salary increase of 600 pesos per annum. For letter A, what is his salary on the 8th year? And for letter B, calculate his total earnings during his first 8 years. Okay, for letter A, we're going to use the arithmetic sequence formula. Given, we're looking for A sub 8. A sub 1 is equal to 260,000. N is 8 and D is equal to 600. Applying the formula, we have A sub N is equal to A sub 1 plus quantity N minus 1 multiplied by D. Solution, directly plug in the given values. A sub 8 is equal to 260,000 plus quantity 8 minus 1 multiplied by 600. But what is 8 minus 1? That is equal to 7. A sub 8 is equal to 260,000 plus 7 multiplied by 600 and that is equal to 4,200. A sub 8 is equal to 260,000 plus 4,200 and that is equal to 264,200 pesos. Therefore, on the 8th year, Romeo's salary will be 264,200 pesos. For letter B, we have arithmetic series. Why? Because we're going to find the total earnings of Romeo during his first 8 years. Applying the formula, S sub N is equal to N over 2 multiplied by 2 times A sub 1 plus quantity N minus 1 multiplied by D. Substituting the values we have, S sub 8 is equal to 8 over 2 multiplied by 2 times 260,000 plus quantity 8 minus 1 multiplied by 600. But what is 8 divided by 2? That is 4. Next, 2 multiplied by 260,000, it is equal to 520,000. And 8 minus 1 is equal to 7. S sub 8 is equal to 4 multiplied by 520,000 plus 7 times 600. And 7 times 600 is equal to 4,200. S sub 8 is equal to 4 times 520,000 plus 4,200. And 520,000 plus 4,200 is equal to 524,200. S sub 8 is equal to 4 times 524,200. It is equal to 2,096,800 pesos. Therefore, Romeo's total earnings for the first 8 years is 2,096,800 pesos. Example number 4. A certain culture bacteria doubles every 4 hours. If there are 30 bacteria at 6 a.m., how many bacteria would there be at 6 a.m. the following day? What type of sequence is involved in the problem? Very good! It's geometric sequence. Why? Because of the word doubles. The bacteria doubles every 4 hours. Now, let us try to form the sequence. Let's start with 30 at 6 a.m. That's A sub 1. After 4 hours, it becomes 10 a.m. Then, add another 4 hours. That's 2 p.m. Then, add another 4 hours. 6 p.m. And so on until we reach 6 a.m. the following day. Upon looking at the given sequence, we can now write the given. We're looking for A sub 7. A sub 1 is 30. N is 7. R is 2 based on the problem. So applying the formula, we have A sub N is equal to A sub 1 multiplied by R raised to N minus 1. Solution, we're going to substitute all the given values. A sub 7 is equal to 30 multiplied by 2 raised to 7 minus 1. And 7 minus 1 is equal to 6. A sub 7 is equal to 30 multiplied by 2 raised to 6. But what is 2 raised to 6? That is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 equals 64. So, A sub 7 is equal to 30 times 64 which is equal to 1920. Therefore, the number of bacteria is 
1920 at 6 a.m. the following day. Example number 5. Beth plans to save money in 30 days. On the first day, she saved 1 peso, 2 pesos on the second day, 4 pesos on the third day, and so on until she completed the period. But Beth is curious. She wants to know the total amount of money she saved for the first 18 days. What type of sequence is involved in the problem? Correct! It's geometric series. Why? Because we're looking for the total amount of money Beth saved for the first 18 days. Given, we're looking for S sub 18. A sub 1 is 1, N is 18, and R is 2. How to get the common ratio? We simply divide the second term to the first term. That's A sub 2 divided by A sub 1. So, 2 divided by 1 is equal to 2. Applying the formula, we have S sub n is equal to A sub 1 multiplied by quantity 1 minus R raised to n all over 1 minus R. Solution, let's plug in all the given values. S sub 18 now is equal to 1 times quantity 1 minus 2 raised to 18 all over 1 minus 2. But what is 2 raised to 18? That is equal to 262,144. And 1 minus 2 is equal to negative 1. S sub 18 is equal to 1 times quantity 1 minus 262,144 all over negative 1. But what is 1 minus 262,144? That is negative 262,143 times 1. It is equal to negative 262,143. So, A sub 18 is equal to negative 262,143 divided by negative 1. And that is equal to positive 262,143. Therefore, 262,143 pesos is the total amount of money Beth save for the first 18 days. Now, it's your time to practice. Solve the problem. A pile of lugs has 61 lugs in the bottom layer, 58 lugs in the second layer, 55 lugs in the third layer, and so on until there are 10 lugs on top of the pile. How many lugs are there all together? Don't forget to comment down your answer so we can check it. Good luck! I hope you enjoy our discussion for today. See you again for our next lesson. Thank you, have a nice day, and God bless everyone!